Well, uh, local high school students are celebrating their big win at the National FFA Championship. Lori Wallace is live meeting the team as we speak. Hi, Lori. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, quick correction on my end. They are actually freshmen in college. Now, oh. when I got here, the story ended up being a lot more interesting than I even thought it was going to be. You know, that can happen sometimes. Even better. So here's the deal. These guys won as juniors. Their senior year was a COVID year, so they weren't able to go to the competition. Oh, gotcha. So their teacher asked, hey, you want to go back and do it again? And all these guys said yes, which I was so happy because right as we know during COVID, a lot of young adults, teens, the motivation kind of dipped a little bit, right? Not for these guys. They decided they were going to go for it. So big applause for them this morning. I'll introduce you to Luke, Teddy, Itzel, and Trevor, uh, who are all freshmen in college, who got in at 1 a.m. last night from Indianapolis. Uh, for this competition, and you guys have done such an awesome job. Tell us where you're going to school now. I'm going to cool to school at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. I'm also going to the San Luis Obispo Cal Poly. I'm going to San Jose State University. I'm going to Consumers River College. CRC, I went there too. Okay, so listen, guys, this was something that took a lot of preparation, and you guys worked really hard to get there. Tell me a little bit about the process and what you guys did. Yes, yeah, so. In preparation for getting there, it took a lot of hours on our end and on the teacher's end. So on a normal weekly basis, we're looking at an hour and a half practice over Zoom on every Tuesday night. Then we're looking at an hour phone call with one of our advisors testing on oral questions. Then an hour or two hours of individual study of those same oral questions to make sure we're sharp. And then looking about an hour to two of debate research, so studying what's going oh on. Goodness. Uh, within the FFA as an organization, what's happening within our chapter here at home, and what's happening within our community. Yeah, we meet a lot of amazing young adults in the FFA program when it's fair time, right? We talk about the animals they're raising and that sort of thing. This is a whole different side of FFA. So for people at home that don't really get it, what exactly are you guys doing when you're there, and what are you prepping for? Well, yeah, the FFA as a whole has a ton of options for young adults, just like we um, you know, entering our freshman year, we thought the same thing. FFA, we're just here to, you know, maybe grow some crops and show an animal. But as we quickly develop, we learned about LDE and CDE teams, which are career development and leadership development events, which is uh, what parliamentary procedure is one of. So when looking through our organization, it's looking at those events that truly prepare students with the soft skills, with the hard skills for entering into the industry, for entering into college or whatever their interests are in life. Yeah, and you leave high school with all these great uh, skills, and, and the prep was was a bit much, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it took a lot of hours and a lot of time. And even with that extra time, we knew that we all had time to develop uh, and set aside all a uh, part of our lives to develop our skills as leaders. Okay, and so this group, they were chosen here in California. There's only one school chosen, one group, and that was you guys. So I was joking with them before the segment. I said, were they asking, like, where's Galt? Because you guys are with <laughs> people from all over the country. Talk about where some of the people that your, competitor, your competition came from. Well, we have competitors from all around the state, from those that in the furthest of the north of California to those that are in the southern regions. And even with that, the tightest competition, we always friends with each other. We're always gaining knowledge from each other. We judge each other. We look at each other. How do we improve on each other? And that competition is really what breeds our success. Yeah, and when you're at the national competition in Indianapolis, you're with people from all over the country. Yeah, correct. So from all the way from Washington to down to Florida on a usual basis, there's a uh, competing team from every single state that we're going up against. Okay, we got to wrap it up, but what is this? Uh, this is a gavel. <laughs> this is how the chairman, as I guide the meeting, I tap the uh, gavel to uh, announce the meeting, and then at the very end, I tap the gavel to end the meeting. Cody, would you like me to see if he could let you borrow that? Yeah. <laughs> you want to borrow that thing? That would be awesome. Um, all right, guys, uh, we're going to stick around because coming up next hour, we're going to talk more about the program as a whole and see what else they're working on out here at this school. An awesome program, lots of opportunities uh, for students. I'll send it back to you. Right on. That Man. is a lot of gavel. That is a lot of gavel. Woo! Like, <clears throat> that's good practice when he goes to fairs and stuff like that. So you yeah. just boom, hit the thing. Exactly. Bing.